Oh. Okay, yo. Gang, 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 gang. 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Now, I, I don't know about you, but I actually think that's a good thing. See, when most people would release an, an album that's nine songs in 24 minutes, I'd say, what, you don't have enough material to make a whole album? It's fucking Joji. You're goddamn right he, had, he doesn't have enough material to make a full album. So, nine songs seems quite appropriate for whatever the hell it is we're going to be getting into today. Why'd the chat disappear? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, hello, one, my name is Bradley. Uh, and today we're going to be listening to Smithereens by Joji, the new album. I don't know if this thing was announced to be released today, but to me it was a surprise. Uh, and I guess that's all that matters. You guys know me. My my journey with Joji has been quite interesting. I remember being in the classroom listening to uh, In Tongues and thinking to myself, Wow, this album sucks so much ass and i thought it was one of the worst albums of the year and one of the worst lo-fi albums i have ever heard and then he released a couple of mediocre projects and then I, I, if i remember correctly yeah 53 minutes almost an hour in length this new album less than half the length of that which i think is a good thing that previous album was extremely bloated and I know two of the songs out of the nine, and I think they're pretty good. In fact, Glimpse of Us has actually grown on me to be quite a quite an amazing ballad, especially for the year of 2022, where there aren't a whole lot of ballads. I actually feel like Glimpse of Us stands out. So yeah, the song has grown on me, uh, and I'm hoping that the rest of this project keeps up with the quality of that track. With that being said, let's listen to Glimpse of Us. You're right, why does the chat keep disappearing? What the fuck's going on? I didn't disable chat. I wouldn't do that to you guys, alright? I ain't like that, you guys. You gotta boo. Bus has grown on me since I first heard it. I actually think it's beautiful. I think it's fantastic. And it's amazing going from uh, thinking Joji would never create anything good to hearing this and saying, okay, it might be the same shit he's been releasing, but I feel like he's mastered it. For me, it's a strong smiley ball. It's great seeing him succeed as an artist and create something as powerful as this track. Uh, I think it's wonderful. Sure, it's a bit slow, and it's like uh, in a reaction environment. Sure, it's not the most eventful thing in the world, but it's because I think it achieves what it's trying to do. And it's pretty, it's slow, it's somber, and it's romantic. So, yeah, I actually like it. I actually think it's a great song. I'd even go as far as to say it's one of the best songs of the year. It's a good start. Next song, Feeling Third Up in the End. Too many, too many things we did. Oh, there we go, fucking trap music. Gang, gang. I got a motherfucking Glock in my pocket. That's me up, I can rock it. I put my dick in a power socket. Alright, you know, could use a little Wayne feature. You know, maybe to extend the song a little bit. Could, could use maybe a little anything else, actually, to extend the song, as it feels unfinished. It feels completely unfinished. Uh, for me, I'd like the song. I think it sounds sweet. I actually kind of like the the sweet trap instrumental here as I feel like it actually complements the vibe. You know what I mean? It doesn't really take away from it. But wow. Young boy, baby. Until I get a Lil Wayne remix, I, I'm, I'm, I gotta say I'm disappointed. Light Smiley Ball certainly needs more. It, it felt un, unfulfilling. But it was good sounding. Good for Joji standards, which means it's success. Next song, Die For You. Burning photos, I heard that you're happy. You're so fucking precious when you smile. Get it from the back and drive you wild. Wow. Happy. 
despite that song feeling like uh, the standard length of a song, I can't help but feel like this is missing something. I feel like this is running through the motions of what I'd expect from Joji, and he does it okay. I don't feel like it hits in the same way as like a glimpse of us, and I'll be honest, I don't feel the same massive connection. There are moments and glimpses where I'm like, oh, you know, this is this is pretty sweet. Um, but I'll be honest, I just didn't fully connect with it as much as I wanted to, but I still appreciate the effort. I'd, I'd give it a light smiley ball. I enjoyed it, but I just, I thought it would hit harder than it did. It, it was good, but I mean, it seems like a lot of shit in here is pretty cliche. And I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed it, but also kind of was like uh, underwhelmed. Upon revisiting this song, I feel the exact same way. In fact, I feel reinforced with the idea that this song doesn't feel complete. It feels like it needed like another minute. It feels like it needed another idea, um, but unfortunately just sort of falls a little bit short, but I still feel like it does a good job of continuing the vibe of this project. Before the day is over. It was killing me because I didn't know what this sounded like, but it actually is the Twin Peaks theme. I don't know what you want of you. Now the moment's hey, good. I love you guys. Just as I it's feel. really good. No time for tricks. You've been gone. I know. Hold on. Guys, returns. You type the stupidest microaggressive fucking comment once. I look at it. I'm like, uh huh. That's returns. Oh, but you no, know, you you gotta spam it to make sure I see that you're dissatisfied with the event of today of listening to Joji. Thanks, thanks so much for always being a shining beacon in the chat. Something we can use when we start to stall, and I was hoping. Yes, sir, yeah. It's so good. See, people are like, oh my god, he's only releasing 24 minutes of content. What a lazy artist. Listen, okay? Joji the GOAT. He understands that ain't nobody want to listen to this shit for even more than 10 minutes. Okay, so 24 minutes, it's pushing it. Hold on. Oh shit, we got... Uh, trap drum breakdown. Apparently, the rumors that Joji has a sour relationship with 88 Rising and rushed his last album on them on purpose, and that's why he hasn't been on 88 Rising stuff. That's why it it feels weirdly unfinished. It was really fascinating. Hey, look, the chat's gone. That song was boring. Shrug. Hey, look, okay? I don't care if it's decently well done, okay? That shit was so boring, okay? My God. Just let me in. Boom, 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 boom. It's the same shit, man, that he's been making every fucking time, dude. And I'm just like... <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Nobody, wanna sit Nobody wants to sit through that crap. I just want to add, because my review is kind of barely a review. <laughs> Alright. Next song, Dissolve. It's true. All that you are. It's so hard just being me sometimes. Oh, it's an auto-tune ballad. Got too many situations come. I know I haven't done the From above, it's not right. Are we counting sheep until we dissolve, huh? It's a painful situation. You got the life you always wanted. Oh, what? Okay. You know, he's asking the real questions like, where do we come from? Why do we exist? Sometimes I wonder why I'm even alive. Don't we all just dissolve in possibly the most boring sound palette that's ever existed? This song is slow. 
It's unrewarding. It's drenched in auto-tune to represent the losing of the self while simultaneously making a song with no personality. Bruh, fuck this shit, man. Barely even feels complete either, dude. Holy shit. I was like, you know, maybe this album's short because, you know, it's all killer, no filler. Nope. Nope. It doesn't seem to be the case. Next song, Night Rider. I think this is the first song of the second half, which, by the way, this 24-minute album is a two-disc album. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends my two-minute presentation as to why we shouldn't give Joji the benefit of the doubt. Dog. That was terrible. I thought that was genuinely embarrassing. I thought the vocal sample sounded like some really tacky, cringy garbage trying to sound serious at the same time. The I'm Too Precious hook sounded horrible. It was off-key. It was just a tacky nightmare. I thought that was straight-up ass cheeks. Wow. Good to know that Joji still still has it in him to make awful garbage and call it and and it feels unfinished too. Awful unfinished garbage and he just releases it as uh, as an official song. This is this is fucking remarkable. And speaking of, next song, blah 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 demo is the name of this song. Hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. I can make you Closer, baby, one more time. One more time. I'm lost right where you can through the storm. Something tells me we're inside. Closer, baby, one more time. Come on, man. You released one of the best songs of the year. One of your best ballads showing that you've improved in basically every single category just to come out with this crap. And to call this finished material, this is a fucking joke. This is terrible. Why even waste my time with this? Why even waste your listeners' time? Why even bother releasing a project at all? This, this is the same unfinished garbage that I had a problem with when he first started making music. This is such a waste of time. Dog. This is pathetic. This is just straight up pathetic garbage, dude. Really? This is what, your fourth album? And this is what you're releasing? <laughs> what the fuck? Why, dude? Why even bother releasing this, dude? It literally is called a demo and it literally sounds like a demo. There isn't even a song here, dude. Yukon, interlude, because we need an interlude at the second, in the last four minutes of the album, of course. There's one song after this interlude that's a minute long. Of course, an interlude. After what? After the fucking demo you just gave me? I did listen to the Backwash album. It, it was amazing. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the Minecraft song. And my eyes get low in that all white truck. And my eyes get low. Glowing with the certainty. Circles at the show. When your legs don't work like they used to before. In a time so slow. Wow. And it doesn't even have an. Oh, wow. It just. Can't, this is an insult to, like, the album format, this entire album. Like, I, I feel insulted. As if what's happening is supposed to be considered experimental when it all just feels, com like, incomplete. Like, that song was, like, a chorus that was kind of catchy and a reasonable instrumental, but the overall experience was just extremely underwhelming. God, it doesn't work in this fucking album either. My God. Last track, 1AM Freestyle. Let's end this crap. I went into this thing expecting this to fucking kick ass, by the way. I'm... I'm... Oh.
Dude, for context, I got 12 hours of sleep. I slept longer last night than I have in a while. I slept for so long that I woke up feeling high, okay? So you can't tell me that I'm tired. No, this shit is genuinely boring. Every style, of course. Song is seven writers? Bullshit. I doubt that. I, I don't believe Seven writers for 1 a.m. freestyle? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> I don't even know who these people are. That song was unbelievably dull, just like the rest of this Dog. second half, which should not exist. This is not a second disc. The second discs, it, it doesn't even reach 10 minutes in length. And it, and it has about, like, two to three minutes worth of material. That's not the real ARTV. They're, they're, they're a troll. Anyways, that was terrible. What a fucking disappointment. I was like, okay, 24 minutes. The two singles were good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, what's that? Joji's not even trying to make songs. He's just making mediocre vibes that are incomplete. Yeah, this is worse than his previous project. This is, this is sad. What the fu- Why even release this? Why? Why even release this? Who's gonna stream any of this pointless shit? Yeah, I'm feeling a five minus on this project. Good job. That's about as mediocre as you could possibly release. There's a couple of songs on here that are good and a whole lot of shit that needs to be thrown back onto the drawing board. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you guys with the Drake album, which we will be doing after I release this video. Oh! What a fucking disappointment. Goodbye, everybody.